Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jaeger262 with more Armored Warfare news. So I think it was a week ago I did a video on the KC-153, the new Tier 9 uh, progression AFV for the South Pacific Tech Tree. And I mentioned that they were doing the AS-21 Redback, but had not released an article yet. So of course, here's the article for that. I will leave a link to this in the description below. But let's just go over the basics, because it's actually a little bit different than I predicted. But it does have some interesting features. So here are some of the pictures I showed you in my last video. They're using the same ones from its unveiling in 2016, I believe. And then, of course, here it is in the game. Now, it will be a Tier 9 AFV. But the interesting thing is it has not only a hard kill APS that offers 360 degrees of protection, but it gets peli rounds. Now, on top of that, and if I can find a picture, here we go, of it on top, right here, and I guess you can kind of see it better here, it gets two Javelin ATGMs as well. So this is going to be balanced very much like the Rosamach Mark I, or what they allude to is that it will play like the Leclerc T-40, of course, the Tier 9 Premium Tank Destroyer which also uses Javelin missiles. Now, I got the caliber of the cannon wrong. I was basing that off of, like I showed you, just some actual specs on the modular systems for the real vehicle. In the game, it will just be using a 30 millimeter cannon. But like I said, you will get peli rounds. And on top of that, you get the two Javelins, which are very powerful. Now, they don't actually go into much about the Javelins. Um, how much damage they're going to do or anything. I just assume they're going to be doing the same amount of damage as the Leclerc T-40 or as the Ray Block, or Ray Bolt, sorry, missiles that the rest of the line is using. So expect top-down 600 millimeters of penetration offering, or I should say 400 millimeters of penetration offering 650 damage on average, which is what the other missiles in this new tech tree do. It does come with a chain-fed 1000 round magazine that, of course, is like the Martyr 2. That means you don't have to reload it. It offers the full 400 rounds per minute rate of fire with, as they say, excellent, neg you know, minus 8 gun depression is pretty good. It's way better than most vehicles, but I think it's standard for AFVs. The only ones that can't do it are things like the Rosamach or um, the ZBL08 at Tier 6. Most AFVs can get that kind of gun depression out of them, but it does get 60 degrees of elevation, which is crazy good, uh, much like any of the other anti-aircraft vehicles here. So if you are perched on a ridge, you can use your weapon effectively there. Now, just like other Javelins, just to remind you, or even the Ray Bolts, you will need a positive lock-on, and there will be a three-second delay in between firing. For the KC-153's Ray Bolts, if you remember, it's two seconds, and they can fly simultaneously. These do not. So you will fire one, you'll be able to fire another one three seconds later, but it will probably still make you wait for that other ATGM to hit. Not really a problem. It rarely uh, impacts how the vehicles play in Armored Warfare, but that is a little thing that gets overlooked is if you try to fire it, it won't do anything. You'll get a little notification on your HUD that just says ATGM in flight. Uh, if you're close enough and these things fly really fast, if you've seen the Leclerc T-40 in action, that's not really a problem. And as you can see on the model, they do have the APS here and the actual hard kill module here, which fires at the rounds. Now, the interesting thing about this is it does get the AI target assistant that is available on the Type 16 MCV, which even though that is a Japanese tank destroyer and this is a South Korean IFV, um, I guess it'll just be a perk of the tech tree. That of course is auto aim will lead targets and give you a much smarter, much quicker hit on a target compared to normal auto aim, which just locks onto center mass and just fires where that was. If the vehicle's moving, you will often miss. This one leads it, it tries to aim at places where it will definitely penetrate and if you don't lock on it still gives you a little reticle now we don't know what that reticle is going to look like to show you where you should be aiming for moving targets so if you choose not to have a lock on you are not losing the ai perk it gives you all the same assistance only you're the one pulling the trigger and that's really all the information that they're going to give us on this vehicle 
Um, it does not come with a recon perk or any of the normal scouting AFV perks like the case, yeah, the K-153C had. If you remember that video, this one is all about firepower, and that's why they say here it's going to play a lot more like the Leclerc T-40. So it is a very heavy, heavily armored, that hard kill APS adds to that armor. Not very mobile, but heavy hitting with the two javelins. And the 30mm cannon in this build also, I forgot, they do model the 12.750 cal here. But nothing in the article suggests that you will be able to use this weapon at all. Uh, that would be cool, but I doubt it. If you remember, the K-153 does get use of this machine gun. I don't believe this vehicle will. But even without it, it's still a very heavily armored AFV, and I would recommend playing it just like they said, like a TD. I'm very excited for this vehicle, and I can't wait to see it. So as always, let me know what you think of this vehicle in the comment section below, or which of the new upcoming vehicles you are most excited for. This is definitely in my top three for the new vehicles, followed by, of course, the K-153 and the Type 16. The Type 89 is also cool, but it's a premium vehicle. I probably won't be buying it. So very excited about this. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when this update comes out. I'll be doing a video on that and I will be doing reviews of all of these vehicles. So if you want to get notified, please subscribe or give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. And as always, I'll see you next time.